क्लास नाइन वेलकम बैक टू द्लासेस नाउ लेट्स कंटिन्यू आर लेसन इन हिस्ट्री सोशलिज्म इन यूरोप एंड द रशियन रिवोल्यूशन सोशलिज्म इन यूरोप एंड द रशियन रिवोल्यूशन दिस इज द टाइटल ऑफ द चैप्टर वी आर वी आर दिस टू पॉइंट फाइव वी आर टू पॉइंट फाइव यू कैन गो थ्रू दिस राइट एन योर स्क्रीन एंड लिसन केयरफुली एंड पे अटेंशन टू पॉइंट फाइव the first world war and the russian empire in our previous class we have learnt that the tsar nicholas he did not consulted the parliamentarians or the dumas and the support was very thin people they did not supported the king because he did not consulted the parliamentarians as well as the people or the leaders of the consultative parliamentarians everything the king did on his own in the beginning we have learned that in the beginning people supported the tsar government and uh, as the war moved on the tsar nicholas refused to consult the parliament in this way the support grew very thin now 2.5 there are not together seven points have written russia's army lost very badly in germany russian army they marched forward they proceeded forward and entered germany and austria but there they were badly defeated they were badly beaten in germany and austria between 1914 and 1916 they were beaten back there were over 7 million casualties 7 million russians were killed shot casualties 7 million casualties by 1917 and as russian army retreated retreated means pulled back as the russian army retreated they destroyed the crops and buildings to prevent the enemy from being able to live off the land or able to survive they destroyed the building houses while retreating while pulling back as they entered germany and russia uh, uh, germany and austria they were defeated now they had to run back to their own homeland russia while they were retreating from germany and austria germany and austrian soldiers followed them they came behind russian army and the russian started destroying crops and buildings to prevent them from being able to survive without food and place to live so the destruction of land destruction of crops and destruction of buildings led to over 3 million refugees so as the russian army entered while they pulled back from austria and germany they entered russia their own homeland but the russian and austrians entered the homeland as well so that this shows that the russian army brought russians and austrians into russia and they started fighting there also this destruction of crops and buildings led to over 3 million refugees in russia people had no food to eat people had no place to live the citizens or the common man the soldiers did not wish to fight such a war the soldiers russian soldiers did not want to fight such a war like this type of war they did not want to fight so the war also had a severe impact on industry also in russia as it is there are very few industries in st petersburg or petrograd or in moscow so the war also had a severe impact severe means serious impact on industry 
There were few industries in Russia. We have already learned that Russia was primarily an agricultural country. So there were very few uh, industries that too in certain pockets, that is in Moscow and St. Petersburg. So few industries in Russia and the country was cut off from other supplies and the country Russia could not import or bring supplies from other countries because the Baltic Sea was occupied by, it was under the control of Germans, Germans were their enemy. So the supplies, the country was cut off, country means Russia was cut off from other suppliers of other European countries of industrial goods, machinery broke down. So naturally they require machine parts, parts of various machines, but they could not bring the parts from European countries because Baltic Sea was controlled by Germans. So uh, industrial goods by German controlled of the Baltic Sea. German controlled the Baltic Sea, so that was the get to European countries, so they would not bring the machineries or parts of the machines which were broken down. So most of the machines were broken down and they could not get the supplies of machineries and goods, industrial goods, by German control of the Baltic Sea. So naturally by 1916, railway lines began to break down, the war was still going on 1916. The Russian Empire or the Russian country or this was bombarded by Germans and Austrians and many railway bridges, railway lines were broken. By 1916, railway lines began to break down. Men were called up to the war. Many men had already been killed. Many were wounded, millions were wounded. So naturally there was a shortage of soldiers. So the Tsar Nicholas, the Russian uh, king, the Tsar Nicholas called brave men, able men to f go and fight in the war. So men were called up to the war and this had led. As a result, there was a shortage of manpower in the small workshops. There was a shortage of manpower in the agricultural field. So large supplies of food grains were supplied or sent to feed the army so there was a shortage of food grains in the market the prices of food grains rose and people started raising voice against the tsar government initially they supported now as the war lengthened or continued for more years year after year from 1914 to 1917 16-17 as the war continued people grew more and more angry against the Tassar government because you can see as a result there was a shortage of manpower in the small workshops men were taken to fight in the front large supplies of food grains were sent to feed the army by Tassar Nicholas Russian army to feed the Russian army and there was a shortage of food grains in the market and people could not get food grains or bread in the market. The prices of bread rose and people started agitating or started raising voice against the Tassar government and forced the government to stop the war. So the peasants or the people, Russian people, citizens forced the Russian government, the Tsar government to stop fighting, stop war. Call all men back, stop fighting. So there was an anger among the citizens against the Tsar government. That's all for today. Thank you very much. Now we will meet in the next class and continue our lesson. Thank you very much.